All right, well, Eddie, a good weekend for TMT and your guys uh, specifically. First of all, let's, let's talk about Ron. Uh, he's continuing his comeback from the last couple fights ago. Maybe not his best performance, but it doesn't matter. He still won most, if not every round there, going in the fight. Uh, what do you think of his performance? Uh, you know, it's kind of one you kind of just gut out, right? Well, you know what? He can do better. And I know he can do better. And I keep telling him, every time you step into that ring, you have to elevate your skill level. He does it in the gym, no problem. But it's when he gets out, he, I guess he just has to put it in his head that I was born to do this. He has all the attributes, all the talent in the world. But, Maybe. you know, he just has to put his head together. Maybe some confidence and issues that, after the loss. Uh, exactly. I mean, those things happen to some of the best fighters in the world. All right, let's talk about Jay. Uh, Except for one brief moment, really good performance for him. First, ugly out of the way. What happened with the knockdown? Well, you know what it is. He just got lazy. He just got caught. You know, that's all it was. He and he wasn't hurt. He was in such tremendous shape. He wasn't hurt at all. He got caught, went down, got up, looked at me in the corner, gave me the sign. I'm all right. I said okay, and then he went to win the rest of the round. Besides that, that brief moment, was it one of the better performances you've seen out of him in a while? Yeah, without a doubt. Without a doubt. And then the, the, the knockdown was a... Uh, if it wasn't for Tabidi, I guess it would have been the knockdown of the weekend, or the knockout of the weekend. Uh, tell us about that. I mean, just, just crushed him. He had him out. It seemed like I was sitting by Dewey Cooper, and he was talking about the strength of uh, Escalera's legs. It was like the guy's own legs wouldn't let him go down like he was trying to, but he couldn't fall. Uh, walk us through the knockdown. Or knockout. Well, what happened was... Everything went behind the jab, double and triple the jab. When you start doing that, and then when you fake the jab and turn that left hook, and that's what happened. He faked, turned the hook, and came back with that right hand. It turned the kid all the way around, you know, and I'm glad that the referee, Jay Nady, stopped it when he did because... Yeah, Jay, barely, that, he was getting ready to yeah, load on him again. Yeah, I mean, the kid was out. He was sleepwalking. And I, I talked to Jack with the fight, and he said, too, that, uh, or I told him, I said, it seems like with, with, the, with his own knockdown, when he got knocked down, it's like Jay always tries to give his haters and the people that don't like him just enough ammunition so they can't quite give him credit for doing well because they go and say, well, he's getting knocked down by bums or this kind of thing. Yeah, so yeah. Is, is that something that uh, Jay still has yet to do is to, to put everything together and have that one complete dominant performance? Well, you know what it is? He put it together. After the first round, I was very content in what he did. And, and the, the thing is, he worked hard in the gym every day. He beat me to the gym. So when I saw that, that means he wants to work and he wants to get that title. So you know what? My hat's off to him. You know, he learned from his mistakes that he had. Is that the key? I mean, he's had a lot of off outside the ring stuff with family, personal, whatever, that kind of thing. Is this, now that he's finally, is he finally getting that put beside or behind him and able to concentrate? Like you said, he's been in the gym, had a great camp. Is that is that the important thing for him? Well, the gym is not only where you get your physical endurance at, it's also where you get your mental state of mind. And we have a lot of talks. We talk a lot, whether we're in the gym or we're on the telephone talking to each other. I talk to Jay all the time to let him know that all eyes on you. You know what I'm saying? They want to see if you can come all the way back. And he showed them what he can do. That's not a problem. So is it in your, your opinion, is he putting it all together right now and we're going to see the best Jay? He's putting it all together. He's putting, he's putting it all together. You saw those combinations with flowing the other night? I mean, he just sat down on his punches and let his hands go. And with the, the Badu and Mickey World Championships following losses, is that a real motivating thing for him, knowing that, hey, I lost a fight, but it's not a big deal. I got people right next to me that have Bro, gone through you the know same what? thing. I'm going to tell you an old adjective my father always told me. When I told him that I wanted to be a fighter, he said, chin down, ass off the canvas, and you'll be a world champion. And you know what? He was right. <laughs> no doubt. All right, we'll see what happens with Jay Leon Love. Appreciate it, Eddie. You got it. Eddie.